Right guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make these apples out of cake. So first of all I'm going to take some Madeira cake and I'm just going to pile it up so it's tall enough. Then what I'm going to do is just start carving the cake away to get it into this round shape. And then I'm going to take out a dent in the middle there where the apple dips in at the top. Cover it with ganache obviously uh, and I'm actually going to cover these with a layer of just solid chocolate and then leave them to set. Once it's set, I'm going to roll out my sugar paste, put a bit of piping gel on it, and then put the cake in it this way. Bit of an alternative way to cover a cake. So I don't actually know why I did that, but it's quite cool for this. And then I'm just going to smooth it out and push that dent in at the top there. Once that's nice and smooth, I'm going to leave that to set for a bit before airbrushing it, just so it's nice and hard. And then let's do the green one first. Now I'm just using the um, water-based green and egg yellow from Spectrum and Flow to airbrush this green apple. And then for the red one, I'm going to use the yellow matte all over first of all, then go back to my lime green and just start to spray very lightly in the middle before moving on to my red, my matte red from Spectrum and Flow. That's what's going to add all this main detail and give the orangey look over the yellow. So just going to flick lines up like that from the bottom to give that proper apple-like effect. And just using this nail brush, I can add some other textures. Around the bottom of the apples, I'm using the brown matte, just to give it a shadowing effect. And then with this white, I'm gonna take the end of the airbrush off and do this flicker effect before spraying the whole thing with shell and shine, which just gives it that absolute shine like an apple would have just a nice finishing touch and that's it that's how you make an apple cake using spectrum flow airbrushing 